Hello friends, welcome to Geeky Rabbit. Welcome to our series on JMeter. So today let us see that how to record uh, test scenarios using JMeter. So there are two ways to record uh, JMeter scenarios test plan. So one is by using the Firefox uh, proxy and the other one is by using a plugin called as BlazeMeter. So today we will be seeing that how we can record uh, the JMeter script using the Firefox proxy. So recording HTTP request is a great way to building test plans and can be useful in creating tests that closely mimic a normal user's behavior. So before we move forward, uh, we need to have Apache JMeter installed on our system. Also we need Java 8 and we need to have Mozilla Firefox browser. So let's begin. So the first thing that we will be doing is, is to launch our JMeter console. So let's launch our JMeter console. And then just start building our test plans. So the first thing that we will be doing is to add a third group. So let's go to threads and add a third group. So in here you can specify the number of users, the ramp up period and the loop count later on once you have recorded the script. After this, just go and add the HTTP request defaults. By going to the config elements and just add the cookie manager as well as the HTTP request defaults. So we'll be going and adding those. Okay, so place them in the, after the test plan. And now let's go and add a logic controller that is called as the recording controller. We'll see that why we are adding this right now. So after this, we will have to do, we will have to add the recording controller. So just go and add the recording. So just go to your test plan and add the, in the non-test element, you will see the HTTP test script recorder. So go and add it. So once you have added this, so here you will see different options. So there is there are start and stop options to start recording and stopping stop recording your script. Then there is something called as port, which is mentioned as by default as 8888. So it is assumed that the JMeter will listen on this mentioned port. So whatever port you will be mentioning here, you will have to mention in the browser settings too, so that uh, all the recording is being listened by JMeter and it is captured. After that, in test plan creation, you will be seeing the target controller. So this is where you, uh, so here right now here it is mentioned as recording controller. So if you keep the setting as it is, you will notice that whatever the recording uh, samples are there, it will be recording under this recording controller. And that's why we had added this recording controller. But if you go ahead and you can change it also. So you can specify that under which uh, test, uh, item you need to have the samples so you can have it under the thread group you have it under the recording controller or also you can have it under the http test script recorder so we'll go ahead and put this http test script recorder so that the recorded content will be listed up under this so now in the advanced setting if you go there is something uh, called as url patterns to exclude and URL patterns, patterns to include. So whenever you load a site, there are a number of files that gets loaded up. So there is GIF file, there are the PNG file. Then there are also some unwanted file that you will not be needing into your scenario. So uh, JMeter provides a very specific way to exclude those. So you have to just go to this URL pattern to exclude section and just click on this button that is add suggested exclude. So it will, uh, if you can see, it will all add all the suggested excludes, which include BMP, CSS, GIF. So these are all unwanted file and you, there is no need of this in your uh, recorder. So once you select this, this file will be excluded. So now once this is done, uh, let's launch our Firefox browser. So let's go to here. Before that, uh, let us see. So we will be recording a scenario using this Blaze demo site. So this is a very a good uh, site where you can practice your JMeter skills. 
so they have prepared an application where you can book a flight by choosing in the departure or the destination so if you can see if you can go to philadelphia if you want to select any of the things and select and click on find flights on the next page it will give a list of all the flights then you can choose any one of it click on next and then you have to fill some details regarding yours and also the card type and everything details and click on purchase a flight so once you do this uh, your flight will be purchased so, so this is a very basic example scenario which we'll try to record and uh, now once you have launched your firefox browser there are a couple of settings that we need to do in our firefox browser so first of all go to your options and go and see, search for proxy so you under network settings click on settings and right now there are no proxy set up but for jmeter to communicate with your browser you need to have set up this proxy so for doing that just click on manual proxy and uh, keep it keep it as local host or you can provide as 127.0.0.1 anything will be fine and here you have to have to uh, define the port which is mentioned in your jmeter so in jmeter right now it is listening on 8888 so just go ahead and change this port so that the browser will know that on which port to listen and just click on use this port server for all protocols so this it is saved for all the ftp proxy or ssl proxy and sox host after doing this just click on ok and uh, so go to your jmeter console now start recording your test by clicking on start so if we click on start for the first time So it will take some time to start and there is something called as the root ca certificate so the there are two types of sites one is for http and one is for https so the sites beginning with http will not have any problem and uh, the sites which are beginning with https so if the certificate is not installed in our browser then the recording for http sites uh, https sites can give you some problem as they will not be a secure access so for doing that uh, once you click on start just right now for now click on stop so first of all we'll go and check in the apache bin directory so in here it, there should be something as apache jmeter temporary root certificate so this is the certificate which was generated and uh, we have to install this into our browser so go to the browser settings again and click on certificates So just click on view certificates and go to authorities and just click on import. So you have to import the same certificate which you have just, which Jmeter has just generated. So for doing that, go to bin directory and you have to click on this Apache Jmeter temporary root CA certificate. So just click on open and this will, this is a pop-up that will be coming after you click on import. So just click on trust this CA to identify website and trust this CA to identify email user and just click on OK. So once you do that, the Jmeter root CA is now installed in your browser and you are good to record. So just click on OK. So now once these two settings are done, you are good to go with your recording. And let, let us again start, click on this start. So this is the thing which comes again. So we have already done this, just click on okay. And now this is a box which will be coming in the Apache 5. So in the earlier version, this box was not coming. So this will not hamper your recording in any way. Just click, keep it as it is and just go to your browser and type in demo. So the site name was just a bit. So that was Blaze demo. So Blaze demo.com. So just click on Blaze demo.com and it should load your site. So we will record a scenario. So just select the departure and destination city and click on find flights. Just click any one of your flights as per whatever you need. So I will be choosing this Lufthansa one. And then when you are on the purchase page, just fill in this 
name address so we can give anything right now so these are not mandatory details this is just to resemble a particular scenario that how to record this so once you click on name just click on this purchase flight and you will be taken to the confirmation page so now you can see thank you for your purchase today so we have successfully booked the flight and our scenario has been done so now just click on stop after this which will stop the recording minimize the browser and go to your http descript recorder and under this you will be seeing that whatever actions we did all these are recorded and now you can form a particular test plan by modifying the scripts so if you go to this first request so this success txt these are something related to firefox as you can see direct portal firefox.com and this is not needed in our scenario so we can just delete those then this one this one is also related to bing so we can also delete this so this one is the first uh, request that went in from our side that is the blaze demo.com which loaded the site so this is necessary and second one is the uh, thing, uh, this request where you selected the from port and to port that is boston and rome this is regarding something this is an unwanted one so you can remove this so the unwanted one you can easily identify by seeing the server name so if you can see this is lava soft so this is also one of the uh, unwanted one this one is also one resources this one this one so these three also can be removed so after this purchase you can see this is blaze demo.com in here you have selected the flights the lufthansa one then this css so this is related to google apis so we'll delete this this is also something related to g static so this is not necessary and this one is the last page the blaze demo confirmation page so in here we are filling all the details like whatever is the name address everything and so lastly these two are not needed so just delete those so basically if you can see this four http request are consist of our scenario so now you can uh, rename them so this one was the blaze demo login page so uh, you can say as the landing page so if we rename it here it will automatically be renamed here so these are you can specify the name as as you want so just give them some proper name reserve page this is the purchase one and this is the confirmation one So now you can go ahead and add this all these requests under the thread group and you can simply cut it and just go in thread group and paste in here and you can remove the recording controller for now now we will specify the page in the order so first one was the landing page second was the reservation then the purchase and the confirmation so in this way your scenario is now ready and you can play it along so you can uh, if you want to run it with the help of two users just specify as number of threads as two and try running this so let us add a listener to this to see the execution results so we will be adding the view to results to the listener so now let us go ahead and see the results after running so for running click on this and first of all you need to save this plan so i will save this plan as test script recording firefox so once this is saved you can see it is running for two users and all the particular http requests have been fired two times 
and if you can go in the response you will be seeing the proper response so we'll be seeing that uh, what request and response in our uh, next sessions but for now uh, this is the way in which you can record your script using the http test script recorder and yeah that's all for today so in the next lecture we'll be seeing that how to record the script using a plugin that is the blaze uh, that is from blaze meter so till then if you have any comments or any question please do post in our comment section below until then have a good day thank you